What is up guys? In this video we're going to be going over how we can create a multi-translator in Python and as you can see we have five languages here and let's pretend we actually want to translate a simple sentence into these five languages. So first we're going to go ahead and run the program. It's going to ask us what would we like to translate. We can type in something like I would like to buy a banana. We click on enter and it's going to translate it in those languages. And this is going to be using a free API called Libre Translate. And we have unlimited requests. It's 100% self-hosted and no ties to proprietary services. But there is a small disclaimer at the bottom that this should only be used for testing, personal or infrequent use. If you want to create a company or a production app out of this, it's definitely recommended you host your own server or you purchase an API key. Otherwise, it is completely free. And of course you can translate it into any one of these languages. If you want to translate it to Dutch, just click on Dutch here. And you're going to find the target language down here, which is NL, and you can just add it to your language list. And you can just add it there. And next time you run the program, it's also going to add that translation to the script. But let's go ahead and get started with an empty Python script. And as you can see here, we have this placeholder, which we can delete. And the first thing we have to do is open terminal and type in pip install translate. Then we can go ahead and close the terminal and we can go ahead and type in from translate import translator. Then we should go ahead and specify the languages we want. And in this case, we're going to be using French, Italian, Spanish, Russian and German. So once again, if you want to know which languages you can use, I'm going to leave this API in the description down below. Just go ahead and change the language you want to translate it to, such as Turkish. And you're going to see there's a country code in the target down below, and you can add that to the list if you want. But now we need to go ahead and specify an input. So, so we can type in text is equal to input. And inside here we type what text would you like to translate? add some arrows so it looks like an input box and we can go to the next line. Next we need to specify for each language in languages we want to use that language and translate it but first we need to create a translator. So translator is going to equal translator and we're going to use the provider which is Libre and it's going to be from the language of English of course you can change that if you want to the language of the language that we are looping through. And the translation is going to equal the translator.translate and we will insert the text that we insert up here. Finally, we just want to print all of the translations. So print, it's going to be a formatted string followed by curly brackets and the language that we are translating followed by its translation. Now we can go ahead and run this program. And as you can see down here, we can start translating. And here we'll say, I would like to buy a car. And it's going to translate it into these five languages. Now it's a very simple translator and it does require a lot of attention because of course it's not as powerful as Google Translate. There's going to be a few more errors than usual, but for a free translator and a unlimited translator, I think this is a great script. But with that being said, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.